welcome to vinutas math channel this is the third video of the first module that is the introduction to digital design uh, topic uh, in the last video while doing the second uh, second video the video stopped abruptly uh, so i am doing the continuation part of it in this video i am starting with it in the last video we had taken the inputs x and y the x as 01100 and y is 00110 and we were writing the timing diagram for and gate or gate okay we got to know how to write the timing diagram for and and or next for the not gate it is not of x so x bar so whatever the input we are having in x we have to invert it so the input is 0 for 0 the inversion or the complement is 1 so this is 0 this is 1 so I have written 1 I have marked 1 in the timing diagram next for 1 the inversion is 0 next for 1 it is 0 and for 1 sorry and for 0 it is 1 again for 0 it is 1 now let me continue it okay like I joined this fine understood that is for 0 it is 1 for 1 0 0 for 0 and 0 it is 1 1 similarly for y bar y bar the y input is 0 0 double 1 0 right for 0 it is 1 okay see here this is 0 and this is 1 fine for 0 it is 1 for 0 again 1 and for 1 it is 0 and for 1 it is 0 and for 0 it is 1 ok let us join the incomplete timing diagram understood this timing diagram will be very much useful for you in the lab experiment section uh, from 3rd experiment to 8th uh, experiment ok so I am writing the numbers here 1 1 0 0 1 I guess you are understood now next let us take the next topic next topic is the the AND gate and the OR gates may have more than two inputs also in the previous video I had given the logic gate diagram for the two input AND gate and two input OR gate right so even the AND gate and OR gates uh, will be having more than two inputs how we have to represent that uh, three input AND gate AND gate D so it is D we are having only one output three inputs so I am representing it by three inputs naming A B C it is AND so A dot B dot C it is nothing but A B C you can write in a continuous form also next uh, if I take the four input OR gate the representation will be like only one output all the four inputs separately A B C D and ORing ORing operations means plus so G will be equal to A plus B plus C plus D fine ok now next concept is basic theorems and properties of boolean algebra under this there are 10 basic theorems and properties uh, we will look into that here I have given already uh, we will look into that one by one before going to the uh, properties and theorems of the boolean algebra first let us know the duality of the duality principle I have written the spelling wrong duality principle ok duality principle what does it says it states that every algebraic expression deducible from the postulates of boolean algebra remains valid if the operators and identity elements are interchanged meaning you take any expression which has been deduced which has been derived from the postulates derived from 
these values or these theorems this will remain valid it will be always true if the operators what are the operators basic operators and or okay and the identity elements what are the identity elements the identity elements for and gate is 1 similarly the identity element for or gate is 0 if these identity elements are interchanged fine for any logical expression sorry for any algebraic expression which has been deduced from using these uh, identities this will remain valid this will be always true even if the operators and the identity elements are interchanged fine now how to uh, derive an duality of an algebraic expression if any algebraic expression is given in that to find the duality or to derive the dual of an given logical expression what we need to do is we have to interchange if there are any or gates we should replace it with and gate if it is any and gate replace it with or gate okay if any or replace it with and if any and replace it with or fine if similarly if any zero is there replace it with one for one you have to replace it with zero fine next identity element for and operation is one and for identity element for op or operation is zero what is an identity element say for example I'm, I will show you for the AND gate ok I am taking a variable x into I am giving you a blank here which is equal to x ok meaning you have to write a number or you have to fill some number here by filling the number the value of this expression should not be changed previously it was x by multiplying it with something after multiplying with something the result must be x also it, it must be x ok the result must not change so by multiplying the x with what number gives the x as it is let us consider if I multiply it with 0 0 into anything is 0 so it will not uh, give the value as x right so what we have to multiply if I multiply it with 1 x into 1 any number multiplied by 1 gives the same number so the 1 is the identity element for AND operator fine similarly for OR operator OR operator I am taking one variable ok you have to add some element or you have to do the OR operation of some element with the variable such that the output must be x itself what is that value then if I take x plus 1 it won't be x it will be 1 if I add or if I OR 0 with x the output will be x so the identity element for OR operation is 0 I guess uh, you understood this concept ok next boolean theorems of boolean algebra <coughs> theorems of boolean algebra I have listed the 10 boolean algebras ok that is x plus 0 is equal to x let us consider an example ok uh, how we can check this consider x as 0 one time ok consider x as 0 uh, the video length uh, will be will be coming more than 10 minutes so I will stop the video uh, in this topic Up, uh, in the next video that is in the fourth video I will start with the theorems of boolean algebra ok uh, if you have any doubts join our telegram, telegram group uh, you can ask your doubts there and even you can comment your doubts or uh, you can comment your opinion about the classes if you find this video helpful share it with your friends 
and uh, make them uh, to subscribe to this channel also okay even you also subscribe to the channel thank you for watching happy learning